this edition of DIY 3D Tech.com. In this episode, as I promised, we're going to be doing a shoot off between the Monoprice Select Mini and the Fabricator Mini. So, uh, in the left corner, yes, the left corner, we have the Monoprice Select Mini weighing in a whole lot heavier than the Plexiglass Fab Mini. Um, what we're going to do is, uh, you know, in, in one of the prior episodes, I printed the Eiffel Tower on the Select Mini, and it came out very well. So I figured, let's do a shoot-off side-by-side, um, same STL file, same any configuration for Cura, uh, whole nine yards. Um, and we're going to print it on both, and we're going to see which one comes out the best. So uh, it's going to be heads-up quality comparison. Um, you know, because this one's got a bed to heat up, and that one doesn't. They're, they heat up about the same time, so and print times are pretty much the same because I'm also going to print at the same speed. So 50 millimeters, 50 millimeters, full out, exact copy of one another. So tell you what, let's go to the time lapse and we're going to do side by side time lapse. Let's watch it. Okay, we're back from the time lapse and we have our two Eiffel Towers. So the red one is done on the Fab Mini, the white one done on the Monoprice Select. How did we do? So uh, again, the Fab Mi the uh, sorry, the Monoprice came out very well. Uh, the one thing I do notice is I think there's going to have I think I'm going to have to do some adjustment. On the back side, there is a little bit of roughness and banding, sort of like I've seen on the Wanhao with, um, uh, I forget what it is, what the adjustment is, uh, but I'll have to do that, uh, go back and look, but uh, just on the one side, there's a little bit. The rest are actually perfectly smooth. Again, very little stringing. Um, I could maybe do with a little bit more retraction. I also did the same retraction on both too, by the way. It just it's same, it's same. I used the exact same mini file and Cura to do this. Now, the uh, the Fab Mini, well, it didn't do so good. Now, don't worry about it. There's a little bit of black still left when I switched the uh, uh, filament in, in the Bowden extruder. Um, the bottom came out okay. Almost. Not quite as good. There's a little bit of roughness down in this, this middle part of the, um, this bottom part of the, the base where there isn't that same roughness in here. It's actually pretty smooth. So, uh, but pretty close. I would say it's 80 to 90 percent. Um, but where it really got messed up is the tower piece. And, and, um, you can see where it wrapped around because the, the, the filament didn't have time to cool. Um, now I did use different color filaments. I believe both are the same brand, either Gizmo Dorks or um, uh, Hatchbox. I can't remember. They're just different. I just did them in different colors, um, but same same brand. So it might be a little bit different in the filament. I ran it also at the same temperatures uh, too. So I uh, believe around to 200 on the hot end, either 200 or 205. I can't remember. Uh, however, you know, look how look how bad this is because it's all twisted around because it didn't have time to cool so I think it just twisted it around I also don't think and, and again this is maybe a little bit more opinion is having used the Fab Mini now for quite a while I just simply don't think it has the resolution um, 
that, you know, for example, you know, other more expensive printers have. Because even with that cheap hot end, the resolution on this, and also this was printed at 0.1 layer height. I think that was the other piece of the problem. I'm not sure the Fab Mini can quite handle 0.1. I tell you, the Monoprice Select handled it well. So this is really, really a nice piece. And again, I haven't cleaned this up at all. So these are both as they came off the beds. Um, you can see the stringing off the top. Really no stringing here at all. The, the tower is formed perfectly. The base perfectly nice arches nice all the way around um, so I, I tell you what folks uh, for, for roughly the same amount of money not too much more I definitely spring the mono price select uh, it's easier to get at the various pieces the quality is much better I, I personally think it's a bit more solid printer and uh, look what you get for that little bit of difference so anyways here it is you be the judge I know I've judged and hands down I think that the uh, monoprice select is definitely winning I think the fabricator mini is going to make its way to an eBay sale and not that it's a bad printer um, you, you know because again with a little bit of resetting and stuff I, I think this would come out better and it does it does okay for you know common what I'd call common jobs but uh, I, I tell you what uh, the the mono price select is going to take its place at the small end scale of my portfolio of 3d printers plus I've got like a half dozen now so anyways uh, hopefully you found this interesting you found it useful hit me up below with comments let me know what you think um, and uh, hey like and subscribe we'll catch you in the next video cheers like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.